Hey all, it's me, Laura B. at Craft and See with Laura B. How is everybody today? I am well. Um, we are here for the flip through of my little tiny fall journal. Uh, anyway, so, sorry, I, apparently I'm still not awake. I think I woke up in the wrong sleep cycle, to be honest. Okay, so... I only used one of these. This is the only one of this color that I have. So I only wound it around once. I did not put a uh, eyelet or anything, grommet, whatever they're called, in it to uh, wrap it around the other way or tie it. And I also added buttons to it. Excuse my sniffs. I have got a slowly leaking nose. <laughs> anyway, so here's a little dingle dangly dingly dangly as g kirk calls it and i had stamped one of my fall stamps says haystacks and pumpkin patch and it actually has a little leaf on it which you can't see and i have a bunch of wooden buttons and i love this heart along with this wired ribbon that i bought when i did uh wall hangings and wreaths and of course here is the the tissue not the Good God, I always say that. Tracing paper that I sprayed with the spray stain. And so here we go. Now, this one came from the Wild Bohemian Rose on Facebook, Etsy, and Kofi, or Kofi, or however you pronounce it. They are a bunch of little cut aparts, and they are absolutely adorbs. You know, I, I have not done, again, I have not done much decoration, apparently. That's kind of my thing. Um, I tend to do little ornate things once in a while and then leave the rest. I think, anyway. So these I already did. I backed, this is from Junk with Steph. The Junk Journal Studio, Michelle and Louisa Heinzel. And these are actually, goes like this. Um, anyway, so I made two little tags, or two big tag journaling cards, I should say. Ugh, here we go again. Excuse me, I apologize profusely, but I'm so sorry for that gross noise. It's, uh, allergies. And sometimes... <laughs> It happens when I drink milk products. And apparently that's the issue this morning. Anyway, so this is... Ooh. I know who this is. Completely forgot. Link it down in the description box. But you know what? You know, I, I just can't handle that. So, we are going to go... It's not Wild Sunflower. Let me see. There we go. Petals and parchment, I think. Yeah, petals and parchment. Duh, 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 Elizabeth. I knew that. Again, petals and parchment. It's a little file folder. And the same thing. This is from her. Uh, some of these are freebies that are no longer available on her Kofi site. Um, I was unable to download them properly doing this screenshot. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I just, I did not realize the little button that says, a little arrow thing that says uh, high res meant that that's how you don't download high res I thought it meant these were in high res because you know durr. I am just not when it comes to editing software and all that I am just not smart so her background papers and then I took another one and I just cut out the mushroom and this believe is junk with stuff and what I did on these background white papers, because I don't like white papers, duh. Um, you know, that's just not worked that way. Isabeau saw a squirrel. Have <laughs> you heard that? I had to stop because I wanted to know for sure what she was doing. But yeah, she was running up and down the deck because she saw a squirrel in the thicket. <laughs> Anyway, so here's another junk with stuff. Probably the same one. Yep. 
this is um, from oh, Helen, uh, a seller of vintage French papers on Etsy. Actually, I found her on you on Facebook. And again, this is Michelle at the Junk Journal Studios, printed on tracing paper. Got it right this time. And then I put another a little hole in there so you could see Mr. Squirrel. This is, again, the acetate that's printable, but not for me. Because every time I've tried it, it's got the sticky side. You print on this side, and it smears. So what I did is I just sprayed it with the Distress sprays and oxide sprays that I have. So Mr. Squirrel and my Jane Austen quote says, you know, hey. Now here's another one of hers from, uh, I don't even know her first name, Rose, obviously, and um, Wild by Bohemian Rose. I will link down in the comments. This is one of my leafs from last year that I did jelly print on, and then I did the uh, cereal bag liner where you iron it. Here's another one that I tried vaguely to sew around. It turned out okay. <laughs> I'm not the seamstress. If you want to see somebody be able to sew, watch Kim Shotwell. <laughs> she can sew. Uh, Falling Leaves. This is another Junk, junk Journal Studios. And another one of these from Helen on Etsy. I will try to remember to link her. Let me make a little note. Where is a blank piece of paper? That's what I need. <clears throat> yeah. Let me. This was my huge list of stuff I had to get done before surgery. So we're going to put junk with staff. With staff. Junk Journal Studio. Helen, papers, papers, uh, Louisa Heinzel, she, uh, Louisa Heinzel, and Wild Bohemian Rose. And I just bought a crud ton of kits from her, um, from Wild Bohemian Rose. They are on sale until tomorrow, and they are just gorgeous. I will print some out and share them in another video. I probably should do that today so you don't, so you don't, you know. Again, Junk Journal Studio. I stamped this and did the heat embossing on top of it. Nothing on the back. And this is just uh, Junk Journal Studio folded it in half and used those die cuts I showed you on another video that I thought were, you know, like edging but they are not this is what they do this is only what they do they do nothing else so I'm kind of disappointed and I don't know if I'll ever buy them again I would buy them again if I had the choice so now this then behind this is like one of my favorite parts of it and that cool this is from wild bohemian rose and I already cut them apart but well some of them I didn't See, look at them. And uh, all of this. And I'll show you some more that I dingly danglies that I made. Some of them are earmarked because I have somebody special I'm going to send them to. But anyway, so there's that. And I had to really, really choose which one I wanted. And I ended up really liking how the falling leaves and the acorns went with the background of that and I took cheesecloth again a few Dispress oxides and sprays that I have and then sprayed that and dried it and here we are here is the center petals and parchment this mushroom kit I believe the mushroom kit may still be available on our Kofi site I don't know for sure I will see if I can look it up and actually link it other than her Kofi site. Oh, good night. Another, another nose blowing thing. Oh. Excuse me. Ugh. I don't have cold, I don't think. Donna came over yesterday, took me to my second post op appointment, and she's been sick as a dog. Um, anyway. 
And I know I didn't pick anything up from her overnight, but still. <laughs> Here is another from Helen. And this is a 1919 paper. And it's, uh, he departs for the South Pole. I believe that's what that says. I do not speak French. But I'm pretty sure that is what it says. And I just concertina folded it so it would fit in this envelope that I had uh, jelly printed last year with leaves. And all I did was back it on the inside uh, so it gave it a little bit more, it gave it some sturdiness that it did not have. And then I did the washi tape, obviously. Another one that acetates. Another window so you can kind of see the mushroom. Graph paper that I printed out on like 20, 25 pound paper so it mimics Mr. Squirrel again. And then this pocket, this is, you know, an actual pocket that you put together and it, it has a decoration on the back. I, instead of gluing it down to where you have this pocket and then one behind. I always find those difficult to get the behind tag in. What I've started doing is making a side pocket. Anyway, another petals and parchment. This harvest label is from Junk Journal Studios. This I did last year just playing around with color. I like how it turned out fall. So that just goes in this little pocket here. I've got so much on my desk. You would not believe how much I had on my desk. I, I, I've cleaned it off. These little cute postcards I shrunk to fit again and then stamped them with these cute little stamps that uh, Candace from Journal Me Crazy sent me a couple of years ago. This is from um, Your Creative Studios and I actually did it in two colors. I have um, the little ink things that a ranger from some creator that I can't remember her name and I did it in this really cool orange fall color and then went over it with a ground espresso these are from just your regular acrylic stamps from China's on okay I shouldn't say that Amazon excuse me Amazon another one of those cute little stamps that Candace sent and again, just stenciling. And I left this here because I really like this. I, I think it speaks for itself and it really doesn't need anything to cover it up. And I did, um, I honestly don't know who that is. And I backed it on some of that paper from Helen. And if that's not her correct name, I will link it. And then I took my little your Creative Studio acorn stamp and just went nuts with it. On the back, nothing. I have this, um, I don't know what, even what weight this is. It's a, excuse me, a thin coffee stain paper. <clears throat> and then I crumpled it up and took ground espresso over it. Over it. Over it. May I speak today? Can I speak today? I don't know. And another... <clears throat> one of the mushroom kits and I uh, just I picked one I liked out of the background papers the journaling pages and I cut you know how I am I gotta cut out every little white part because I want the background to show and I don't like white right in the middle of it and so it folded over right here another label from the junk journal studio the same backing paper there we go. And there we have it. So, oh, come back here. Come back here. And this is my first journal of fall. I'm pretty much done with summer. I'm over it. I'm over the heat. <laughs> I'm over the no rain. I mean, we haven't had rain in well over a month. It's, you know, for the wettest, practically the wettest state in the country outside of Hawaii. There we go. And as I said, I have been working very slowly on, so I, I took 
uh, Bo Wild Bohemian. She has a, a page of, which I pretty much cut apart, of little tiny, little tiny, oh, words, words today. Uh, some wooden button, and then I have, this is from the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, and I just wove some sari silk into it. And then here's this one. with a little dragonfly charm, a different ribbon that I got from someone sent me this, and it's really cool. I ended up having to burn the edges though so it wouldn't unravel, because that's what it wants to do. And then again, Wild Bohemian Rose. All of her, those kits are like on sale for a dollar, through tomorrow, a dollar. And then this one, the bow. I just love the bow, one of the buttons dual colors and I just really distressed the edge darkened the edge and didn't mean to with the ground espresso but I loved how it turned out so I kind of made sure I did it this is some more ribbon lace whatever somebody gave me I do not remember who could have ordered it I don't remember can you even see I, I can't see from the glare and then this is just buffalo check fabric that I got from I think my dad's third wife three or four years ago anyway so those are the those are the fall ones that I did yesterday and today I know I'm extraordinarily slow these are the ones that I did last week when I was took everything up to my room I don't believe I've shown these so I just got to get this one to sit right come on, come on, come on. okay so I ordered these charms from you know the tea site yes isabel i see you i see you hang on um they came like this i think there are 10 of each so you've got the little bee and the beehive and i don't remember who the bees are buzzing there's a bunch of sentiments like this um gardening seasonal i i i honestly don't remember it somewhere in my computer and then a bit of that yellow rose trim and buffalo check ribbon. And I just, oh my gosh. I absolutely, how cute is that? And Mitzi, I'm talking to you. Because I know that bee journal. Oh, excuse my sniffs. There we go. See? Mm -mm -mm. Absolutely adorbs. Here's another one that I did. If it would Flip right, flip right. All right, okay, come on now. How did I do this? There it is, the right side. This, again, that lace trim that just does not want to sit. A little bit of blue ribbon and two wooden buttons because I didn't like just one. I had to have two that just doesn't want it. There. So I like that one. I have to say the bee's my favorite. Other than this one. Once I get it settled. Once it straightens up and flies right for me. Is it this way or is it the other way? I think it's the other way. Yep, it's this way. Another charms that I got from the tea site with a little bit of this tool that I cannot remember where I got. I seriously like brain farted on where I got it. So anyway, isn't that just adorable? Little shooting stars. And then this one, which I want to put a phrase on because it's a little fairy on the half moon. I just don't know Do you, how well you can see that. Oh, come on, camera's that way. And I ordered some lace from a wonderful lady on uh, Etsy and it's this I finally used it again some sorry silk so those are what I have done so far so yeah I was looking around to see if I had any more but no I've also been doing a uh, little G Kerr um origami this is one of the the bodice and I glued some lace into it and then around that you know that part 
and I did several others, but they're not decorated. So anyway, so this is what I've been up to for the last week. I had sequestered myself upstairs for a while because, well, that was last week and I can't remember. And I showed Mitzi just, I basically brought almost my entire craft room upstairs. You know, and like an idiot because, you know, I had to knee scooter it to the stairs, crawl up the stairs, and then wheelchair it to my table. It was just a production through the doorway and everything. I know. I just could not believe I was being so just weird about it. And then I took it all back down in three trips. Three trips without falling. I was I was proud of myself for that. Anyway, so this is what's been going on with me. I hope you enjoyed the flip through. There's the other one with the little I just oh I love that. I love how that looks. Uh I just do. Anyway, so if you liked what you have seen. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Drop a comment in the comment box. Um, and share with your friends. Like I say, your friends' dogs. Your friends' dogs' friends. Yeah. Um, and the squirrel in the trees. And what else was I going to say? What was I going to say? I was going to say something. Uh, do like, subscribe, comment, this. Yeah, I, I, whatever it is, I can't remember. I just can't. My brain was wrong. I think I woke up in the wrong sleep cycle this morning. I don't know if any of you know how that is, but you're just groggy all day long. Uh, so there you have it. Um, and on that note, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Nope. I bid you adieu and peace out. Bye, guys. Oh, wait. Stay tuned for more, for more because where all they go? I learned from oh Juliet Jules design or is it Jules E design? How to do shrinky dinks basically on shrink paper or sheets. And so I would stamp and this one is really hard to see. It's poo and it says it's been a forgetting kind of week. And I had one more tiny little B button. Come on, B button there and uh, I really like the shiny side but you can't see so I stamped them with ottomans in the air and a little acorn stamp and this is a tiny teensy tiny little maple leaf there you go here let me see if you can see it better with something behind it there you go and so you shrink it now I can't get them to shrink I did not cut it like that it was cut a perfect rectangle, and this is, I can't get them to do anything like but that. Um, where's my other favorite one? This one. So this is actually the shiny side. This is the side I stamped on, and on the back I took alcohol markers, alcohol ink markers, and then colored it, and put a little sunflower for the fall, and I thought the green just really tied it together, even though there's no green in it. Um, ooh, ooh. This one the tulips and I stamped be authentic uh, that's a Tim Holtz stamp uh, again it just will not they will not shrink straight and I do not know what to do here's another one this is the side I stamped this book from your creative studios on this book with the owl this is the side you're supposed to stamp on these come pre like one side pre sanded The other side looks so much better. So it works with this, but it does not work for the phrases. Um, like this one. Mitzi, I thought of you. It says, a Halloween hello with a ghost. And what I did is I took either the distress markers, the distress crayons that I have. But I'm pretty sure with these colors, these colors, it was my gelato pens. Um, and this is another little tiny stamp with a birdie and I colored it with alcohol markers and then again this is the side I stamped on I think let's see what other one I have here oh here's one for winter let it snow but it's kind of hard to see too because it just didn't stamp very well in the middle and I didn't notice it 
Some of these did not turn out at all, but I kept them. Here is a, another Tim Holtz. When was the last time you did something for the very first time? Um, stamped it in this white Heroes something or another. And then what I did is I have this rose gold eyeshadow palette from e.l.f. that I, I can't wear powdered eyeliner eyeshadow anymore. Not that I wear much makeup. There's a... Uh, so anyway, so that gives it that nice sparkly. And here's the side that I did the sewing machine on. Again, I like that side better. I don't know why. They tell you to stamp on the back side. Here is another little stamp that I have that is just... I think it goes like that. A little phrase. I, I don't even remember off the top of my head what stamp it is. And um, a little bit of the eyeshadow on the back. So let me see another one that turned out. This one is a set of wooden stamps that I bought from Amazon a couple years ago and it says there can only be one queen and I'm it. So it tends to, what it, um, when you stamp, it tends to, uh, the colors darken as it shrinks. So here's a, this side again, thanks a latte and with the eyeshadow on top of it and it does once it dries it doesn't come off and again it strings this i cut out i have a big uh punch good night words and i like that this i have mitzi sent me i gotta take a drink i'm sorry mitzi sent me and these wonderful little die cuts in their tags and they're shrinking and this is the smallest size and I stamped on it I I believe these are the um, Tim Holtz distress crayons and I stamped autumn is my favorite color and since it has a little fall leaves I took that acorn stamp from your creative studios and then stamped that I don't know I'm make sure it shows up. It doesn't. But anyway, it's really cute and tiny and little. So yeah, that's what I've been up to. Um, and we will do these on camera later. Oh, here's a bunch of other ones that I did. Tim Holtz stamp. The if I get it the right way. And again, they just will not shrink the same size for me. And I don't know why. Um, this side, autumn is in the air acorn and again a little maple leaf to be able to hang it from um this says halloween it's a little halloween town there we go and this is just the numbers from tim holtz and there's a little tiny this is my crocodile believe it or not the smallest size that's what it turns out like it's little little tiny there it goes little tiny anyway so yeah it's been a great fun doing that playing around with that uh, i was disappointed that they're all coming out like that but as keong told me you know first of all imperfections are beautiful and it just takes practice and practice and practice and so i spent the better part of saturday and half a sunday doing that and and and, things and other things because you know i can't just do I can't sit more than 15, 20 minutes without having to get up and go do something. <laughs> I just, I just can't. Um, you know, I know other people say they have squirrels and they're running them up and I am, well, two things. I have squirrels and I have ducks and they have intermated and are running all across Yelm Highway and I can't gather them. And as Donna says, my brain reminds her of a pinball machine where you just that ball hits everything and goes where it wants. <laughs> yeah, I would say that's true. Anyway, so again, if you like what you have seen, please, please, please give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment in the comment box. Uh, share with your friends. And if you haven't subscribed, please, I would love the sub subbies. I now have, I think it is a whopping 278 in a year and a half of doing this or more. Um, but, you know. I don't post all the time, so, um, or upload, I should say. And thank you, thank you, thank you to all my new subscribers and my old subscribers, my OG. Ha, ha, that just cracks me up saying OG. 
I, I don't think, <laughs> in my opinion, it's like, okay, you have less than a thousand subscribers. How can you say the OG? But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. From the bottom of my heart, thump, thump, peace out. Bye.